Hi everyone, I'm Honey Lil, and today we're playing Surviving Mars. We're playing on 535% difficulty um, as Paradox Interactive uh, with Futurist. Um, and we're doing the Mars Gate mystery in order to get us up to the 535% difficulty. Um, it's a pretty challenging start. You only get one rocket, a small amount of money, a small amount of research. Um, our bonuses are pretty nice. I like them. Um, they don't make our start any easier, uh, but they're fun because you get uh, more breakthroughs and you research your breakthroughs faster. So once you get over the initial hump of uh, starting on this map, uh, things can get fun with that. Um, we're going to go ahead and go with the the cargo that they uh, set us up with. Um, I've experimented uh, many times with changing this up, and maybe I'll talk about what I did. Um, I did a, a few uh, Sterling generator runs, um, which were nice, but they kind of encouraged turtling, uh, which is something that I'm inclined to do anyway. Um, so I don't know. I think this is just going with the standard cargo that you get and going for uh, solar panels and wind turbines is uh, is good too. So we'll go with that. Uh, the next bit to get us up to the bonus that we want is the colony site. And this is what makes it really challenging. Um, the colony site is 44 north, 112 west. Uh, I wish I could remember who came up with this. I linked to it on my, I linked to their video on my Twitter account, so, or you could just search for a 535% difficulty bonus and I'm sure it'll come up. Uh, 44 North, 112 West, and this location is mountainous. It has uh, low to average resources and it has high threats. Um, and this is what makes it challenging, is the map, I think. The most challenging. So let's uh, go take a look. Welcome to Mars. Hi. Hi. Um, let's go ahead and, uh, and pause this. Okay, in here is... Yeah, we can't land there. <laughs> That looks like an amazing tile. There's uh, rare metals, there's concrete, and all that, but it's frozen. I've tried. It, it's just not possible. It'll, uh, it'll kill your drones and uh, freeze everything you try and put down. Um, so we're gonna go, uh, let's use our probes and uh, do we wanna go left or right? rare metals. Okay, this is as good as it's gonna get. Uh, there's no water, but that's okay. We can work with that. Um, yeah. Let's see what our research is. Uh, not great. There's two technologies that we want to get um, to increase our research, and they're in the robotics tree and the social tree. So even though, well, none of these are really that great. We'll go with robotics first, and then we'll do engineers and geologists. These aren't bad, and we'll want these. Um, but what we really want first is to uh, get our research up as high as it can go, uh, which is 300 research. So we'll do the robotics tree and social tree in order to get those techs. And then we'll go from there. The next thing we want to do is uh, figure out where we're going to build. Um, obviously, we want these rare metals. Not a lot of concrete, but that's fine. There'll be more. Um, one of the things that makes this map challenging is that it's broken up into six sections. So we're starting up here, which is nice because our wind turbines will get a 100% bonus, uh, which is really nice. But the bad thing is that there's only a few tiles that we can explore, so there's only going to be a limited number of, res of 
materials and anomalies. And there's an amount who's broken down to six sections, so it's gonna make it hard to gather the resources. There's a section over here, a section up here, two down here, one over here. So we're gonna have to build tunnels around the entire map to, to gain access to all of that. We have some metals there. Is that all the metals we have? 33? Yep, 33 metals. What's up here? 81 there, that's nice. Okay. Uh, well, first things first, we know we're going to need our concrete. Two ninety-seven. I'd rather have not have our. Two ninety-five. Two ninety-seven. It is. Are we going to build out our power this way? I guess we are. Um, we're going to want... One of the things I like to do... Is that where we're going to put our first stone? Uh, I pretty much from the start, you know that you're going to want another dome um, in order... Because these small domes just aren't big enough. And as soon as you set up and get them reasonably comfortable, your population is going to uh, explode and you're going to have seniors and your colony is going to crash if you don't kind of plan for some expansion. But we'd probably want those metals too. So maybe we'll do uh, three domes, like one, one here, one here, one up here. And if you can get them all into in walking distance, uh, that's something, that's pretty reasonable. So we're gonna have domes around here, so I guess we'll wanna put our infrastructure out this way. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so we'll build out this way. Um, Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, yeah, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. With, the closer you are to the extractors, um, the more dust they'll give off and the faster your maintenance will be um, somewhere around six tiles away seems to be the point where the uh, the damage isn't as severe so I just kind of like to get a uh, an idea of where I should be building so I'm gonna want to build any power generators my wind turbines and everything uh, further along this way it's not the end of the world um, and just having, it doesn't even matter if they're on or not, um, just having the, like the concrete extractor there, even if it's not running, uh, increases the maintenance around it. And the same thing for the shuttle. So we'll build over here, we'll build our infrastructure out this way, I guess we'll put our rocket back there. Uh. solar panel we'll need to get started one two three four five six yeah that's fine that can go there so we'll need a solar panel to get the concrete up and running and we'll also want to get get our sensor tower up um, I think we're going to put it over here because that'll get it closer to these tiles around here, so we'll get a little bit of a, a better boost exploring the rest of the map. And speaking of which, I 
let's do that. So we have a pretty good idea of where we're going. We're gonna, obviously we'll put a dome over here. Um, we'll chain our domes around this way, so we'll build it out this way. So now we want to land. Uh, as soon as my cat gets out of the way. <laughs> so it's pretty funny. Uh, is this good? Yeah, the the only there's only a small piles pile of metals there, and this is in the range. Okay, that works. So we have our research queued up. We have our initial buildings. Uh. Yeah, let's just uh, speed up the game and see if we can get something done. Four anomalies. Nice. Uh, you. Do we have... Let's send our explorer to get that anomaly. That should, that might open up more tech. Why are you working on those rocks? That's ridiculous. Oh well. It is what it is. Let's see if we can make them go do something more productive. You. Go work on that. You. Go work on that. You. Go work on that. <laughs> the readings told us it was a vein rich with ore. Uh, the data turned out to be incorrect. Under yeah, social research. Lay the intact hull. Thanks. Let's uh, change our research priority. Um, uh, control click will move the research up to the top of the tree. Since this is cheaper now, uh, we'll go down the social tree um and then we need to give or explore another another job um let's do this just in case it unlocks the text that i want to research first okay now that we have Where are we going to put our storage? Well, I guess it depends where we're going to, uh, to start setting up our fuel production. And that And I guess we want to go out this way for that. I didn't plan this out very well. Let's pause this so I can uh, do this right. Anyone who's ever watched watch me knows that I get a little bit of little bit of obsessive about trying to make things perfect. <laughs> it's bad, I know. Um, well, really, I don't even need... I don't even need to worry about trying to put the pipes around there, right? Where are we going to put our dome again? We said over here. Kind of as a... Are we going to commit to that spot? I 
think we will. Um, so... So maybe we'll start, we'll have some pipes right there. And that's where we'll start with our uh, fuel production. Sure, that's what we'll do. Uh, wanna, you, you don't want to get too crazy with... Um, with your power connections because the bigger your networks the more often they'll need maintenance and you also want to keep it kind of uh, small and tight because this rocket is uh, we're gonna have to send that back and when we do that we're only gonna have the rover uh, available to To make this work. Okay. There's more to the barren environment. Martian engines. Explore AI. This is great. That's exactly what we wanted. Let's see. Uh so we're going to Perfect. Absolutely perfect. This one's gonna go first. We're moving that to the top of the tree, then that one. Let's take this one off for now. And then this is another good one. Okay. And so is this one. Mm. Okay, first we want to queue up our research. And this one is faster. So we're going to do the Earth Mars initiative to get 100 research. Then we'll do the Explorer to get another hundred. Then we'll go to engineering and this is going to reduce the fuel costs of our one and only rocket from a hundred fuel to 80. So we'll wanna go for that. And then we want to go for this so we can start producing a little bit more water and getting it stored. These are still good techs and we're gonna to wanna to go for all of these. Um, but first things first. Get back to business here and our explorer. Uh, now, now that I have the text that I want, let's go get the points up there. And now that we're producing some concrete, we'll, uh, We'll get some wind turbines down. Well, I guess one for now is fine. Oh wait, no, because we're gonna be doing the water and concrete. Five, 10, so we want three. Three will get the job done, All right? Oh wait, no, these are gonna produce 10. So 20, 5, 10, so we only need two right now. Sector scanning. That'll work. Vehicle battery low. It'll be all right. Okay, and that's gonna get our fuel going with the fuel. The fuel explodes, and we have a lot of disasters on this. We have a lot of disasters on this planet. You can do it. Research complete. Now get back here. Analyzed. Nice, now we have 200 research and we're well on our way to getting 300 research, which is pretty perfect. This is Mars official radio with another letter from one of our listeners. 
Hey there, Panam. What's up? You are so cool. Almost as cool as the music you play. Just kidding. Would you like to meet up sometime? Maybe have a glass of wine and a donut? I feel we could talk and talk and talk for hours and hours and hours. What do you say? You know how to reach me. It is soon Friday again. You know date night. Mark. Oh, uh, well, it's time for another song. With the the fuel will absolutely explode. Um, and because of that, if you put anything else on these universal storage uh, depots, they'll explode along with it. I've learned that from experience. So I don't want that. Also, if you put your fuel on one of these depots, they hold 180 and that will all go up in flames if it's hit by a meteor as well. Um, so for right now, when we only have the one rocket, when our setup is really small, we wanna be pretty cautious about how how we store the fuel and since these only hold 30 at a time um, if a meteor does hit this we're not losing everything so we'll put a couple we'll put a couple of these down just for fuel and these you just left click to deselect the other things it's it's a bit cumbersome uh, but it gets the job done and then then we need some other depots um, do we even want to do Let's see metal I guess we'll do the other ones here right Sure. I don't usually set out my storage this early because chances are good it's going to change, but but we'll move it around later if we do. Okay, this way everything can get taken off the rocket. We have plenty of fuel, power fuel concrete. Uh, we're scanning. Let's find the resources here, 33. get our explorer our rover out uh, gathering up some metal and it looks like he's gonna make it back hopefully nope <laughs> let's get our explorer charging up our uh, our explorer Um, this is going to be the slacker. <laughs> He's incredibly useful. He's going to go out and investigate whenever we need him to. But mostly, he's just going to be sitting around doing nothing. <laughs> okay, that's good. And you, oh, and now you need to recharge too. Okay. Change of plans. Everyone needs to power up. Why are they not working? Oh. Because everyone's charging. That's fine. 
It's fine. I guess we should have a place for uh, waste rock. You're good to go, you're good to go. Okay. Let's take you out there. What did we explore? There was 81 metals there, that's good. We need them. And there's still a little bit of metal down here. Yeah, now it's just pretty much a waiting game. Um, we have our initial colony set up, sort of. We're getting uh, concrete. We're sending our explorer out to get metals. We're putting those metals within range of this Sectors. controller. I don't know. Maybe we'll get the rest of the anomalies and then, uh, and then call it good from there, right? So let's send this, let's send the slacker out. And I thought I sent the rover out, but apparently not. Get to work. Now I started out the, uh, I started this challenge um, with sterling generators because sterling generators are really, like they're perfect for this map. They give you, um, well you see these right here, there's dust devils and dust storms constantly on this map. Um, so having sterling generators when closed that require no maintenance are perfect. And then there's also um, a lot of cold waves. Perfect, perfect. We need this money. And apartments. This is all good. We want all of this stuff eventually. Um, but our priorities are getting as much research as we can right now. So that's what we've gone for. Uh, next, we want to reduce the fuel costs for our rocket. Then we want to be producing a little bit more water so we can uh, start storing some before we get colonists here. And before we get colonists, we're going to have to um, to get another load of supplies. And in order to afford that, we're going to want this uh, a billion dollars here. So that is going to be next. Apartments are a biggie. Um, the subsurface heating is awesome. The only problem that makes this kind of hard in the beginning is it takes water. And as you can see, we don't have access to water right now. I want to say, I thought these uh, the resources were random, but it's looking kind of like they're not. And if they're not random, there's going to be water over here, I think, or maybe up here. But either way, starting on over on this side, we're not going to have access to it. This is Mars official radio with Pelham Public Service Esperin. We have a soundtrack just right. Cue up some more research. Satellite. Check on these guys, making sure they're doing what I want. They are. Usually I would um, pull in the service area, put the stockpile right next to the resource and get it harvested uh, quickly. But we want a, a stock of metal um, that the drones are going to be able to have access to. So it'll take a little longer to, to get this together, but it'll be worth it in the, in the long run. We only make, I want to say, uh, 12 fuel a day, and we're going to need to do... We're going to need to fuel up this uh, rocket and then fuel it up again. So it's going to be, we're not going to uh, get any colonists down here until probably around day 30. I think I'll do the 
I think we'll keep going just so you can see the some of more of the research. Um, but then I think I might go ahead and play on ahead until we're ready to get some supplies in. Uh, because there's not very much uh, to see, really. Live from Mars, a bigger... Yeah, see, these are all good. Like, you can't go wrong with any of these. We want farms. Uh, we want apartments. These are really nice. They give you 33% more power. So in our wind turbines, instead of getting 10 power, we'll get like 13, which is good because it cuts down on maintenance eventually. And one of the drawbacks of taking uh, Paradox as our sponsor is uh, there's a smaller applicant pool. Um, so this would be really nice. Uh, but we'll see. We're already uh, kind of have everything that we want. Queued up. Okay, and... Yeah, I think that is it. We have our initial bit set up. We know that we, we're keeping our uh, fuel in small stockpiles separate from everyone else to kind of mitigate the disaster. Um, we put up a sensor tower. Uh, more sensor towers would be nice, um, but one of the things that we want to be mindful of is our electronics, and we'll be using these for electronics that we have saved up over here. So I don't want to put up any more sensor towers uh, right now. So we have a plan for that. Um, we're keeping our power generators still kind of a small, uh, easily, easily maintained area. Our rover kind of has the, the space of a basic dome. So when that rocket takes off, I want to uh, be able to kind of like park the rover in the middle and have them be able to take care of everything. So we're, we're doing that. Not too close, but spread out enough so the maintenance isn't gonna kill us. As you can see, these don't, these, uh, the maintenance goes pretty quick. <laughs> Uh, we have our supplies laid out. We have a plan in place for where we're going to put kind of like our overflow dome. Research is good. We're concentrating on getting more research and then the things that'll benefit us the most. We're gathering supplies. The only thing with these dust devils, the only thing they'll do is the, they can break down our, our RC vehicles and obviously they can cover things in uh, dust, which might make them be repaired, but they're not really, um, they're not really anything that we have to concern ourselves with. What's going to happen is going to happen and that's all there is to it. Um, one thing that we might want to do is... We might want to put um, where's it at? A recharge, a recharge station up here for our drones. We'll put it up by um, by the stockpiles, just so they don't have to go back to the ship to recharge. And other than that, it's uh, it's just going to be a waiting game. I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. And I'll bring you back when we're ready to, um, to launch our rocket. Okay, yeah, that sounds like a plan. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you'll come back for the next episode. Uh, this isn't going to be... Well, it might... I'm not sure how far this is going to go. Um... The only thing I'm going to commit myself to right now is, uh, I don't know, maybe like five episodes or something just to get, to kind of get established our first colony, colonists in and uh, maybe a dome or two. So, yeah, I'm not going to commit to a full Let's Play right now. 
But if you want to see more, uh, go ahead and hit the like button. Uh, that lets me know you're watching and you and you do. And now I'm just rambling. <laughs> let's see the research. Uh, yeah, drone hubs. Actually, drone hubs, until until we're man manufacturing our own electronics, uh, drone hubs are they're really cheap just to buy them, so we will. Yeah, okay, thanks again, and I hope you'll come back for the next. Bye-bye.